Really pleased you could join me guys for this Black Ops 3 video where I finally now unlocked profits, all his unlocks and challenges and all his suits apart from just the classified one guys but as you know we need to open up all the specialist character abilities before um, and all the challenges obviously before we can open up the classified hero suit but we're still on a mission to do that so like I say we're getting into this now with the profit one this is another one out of the way and uh, like always guys there is 800 kills in total before you can open up the last six challenges but then once you've done the 800 kills you'll open up four challenges with two left at the end once you've opened up those last four but to start with guys we do need to get those 800 kills so first of all you've got the body armor which i just showed you there you'll need 50 kills for that then if you want to open up the arctic head you will then need 100 kills so this is the arctic head guys that you'll open up and there's no specific way of getting those kills you can get them with your guns with your lethals with your score streaks it doesn't matter as long as you play with this specialist character that you're trying to get the kills for it will register the kills okay so you don't have to use your specialist ability with this character to open them you'll just get the kills um, throughout normal gameplay so next we're going to open up that jungle body arm which i just showed you there guys and then if you want the jungle head to suit we need 250 kills playing as profit so that's quite a cool suit i do like that one I like any camouflage suits really to be honest then we like the telementor suit as well that's a really cool suit we need to, uh, 325 kills playing as profit to open that one up and then if you want to open up the telementor head we then need to get 400 kills playing as profit so again the, the suits they do match they look really really nice i do like them they've got some pretty wicked designs out there and then we move on to the professional so the professional body, the good thing about this is that you can change the color of the trim with the body and also the head that I'm going to show you in a moment. There are six colors to choose from. So they range from red, blue, green, yellow, purple and orange. So you can have a different color every day you play with this character if you want to. I don't really find it a you know, really good kind of customization tool to use. Um, I'd rather make the color of the the whole body this whole suit a different color if that um, kind of makes any sense guys and if you with me with that but the head is the same as well you can change the trim of it i don't really see what difference it makes um yes okay there's a different color but you know it's nothing really that amazing guys but uh, it's something different to play around with nevertheless then we open up the earth body armor which is 700 kills and then to open up the earth head which is the final 800 kills okay so that's pretty cool that suit i do think that's the best one out of all the profits it suits so far until we then open up the last specialist challenges then i like the cyberpunk suit that's a pretty cool one guys right so basically now when you've got that 800 kills you can then open up four more specialist challenges the first two okay you can do these in any order you can do the bodies or the head ones first guys it doesn't matter but i'm going to do the body ones first you need 20 kills using the tempest weapon and then 40 kills using the tempest weapon to open up the apocalypse suit okay so i'm just going to show you a short video now on how um, and some of my tempest kills okay just so you can see how it works so basically what you need to do is obviously wait until your specialist weapon can be activated and when you do activate it guys it does last quite a while this one it does i think i've counted in total without using it lasts about 25 nearly 30 seconds but every time you shoot if you realize that guys it will go down a lot quicker so if you saw that i didn't know if you see that or not but wind it back if you didn't guys but every time you use it it does use a lot quicker the um, kind of bar around the side again this is another little video here this is where i get a fury kill now with the tempest so like i said i'm just trying to prove a point to you that the tempest gun is quite easy to use there's nothing hard about it you shoot it away like a normal weapon and you've just got a time limit on it guys you can't use it for the rest of the match once you have it it's, like i said it lasts for about 25 30 seconds if you're not using it but when you do fire away look at that it does deplete that little bar around that tempest weapon icon in the bottom right hand screen there very very quickly once you've got that total of 40 kills guys we can then move over to the head now and do these two challenges so we need now 10 kills with the glitch now this is quite hard to use the glitch okay but a lot of people ask me how you use it and uh, how we can make it easier there's nothing really <laughs> easy about it guys it is quite hard it is a tough little um kind of specialist um attribute to use 
Um, I found it probably one of the most difficult, which I'm going to go on to the cyberpunk one in a moment where you need the two rapper kills. I mean, God, that is just um, so hard to do. But, I mean, for the uh, glitch kills, you just remember how it works, okay? So once you can activate your glitch, it lasts for about three and a half seconds, guys. That's all. All you need to do to build up those up to 20 kills is just get those 20 kills um, within that three and a half seconds, okay? So once you get close to an enemy like that, I always prefer to get close to them, Use your glitch and make sure you get that kill within three and a half seconds. It can be quite difficult sometimes. Remember, it will spawn you back to a moment in time, maybe about three seconds where you came from before. So it's a little bit like back to the future in a way. It kind of puts you back in the past. And this is another one here as well. So once you've opened up that glitch, you can then use it. You can activate it by pressing LB and RB on the Xbox One controller. And I'd always wait and recommend as well that you do get reasonably close to the enemy or the opponent. It does work a little bit easier because remember, you've got three seconds to gain, guys, and make up. So you don't want to be doing it too far away because the time will run out before you've got that kill. So there's another one there, guys, as you see. That was me opening up the 20 kills in total. So they aren't too bad. I say they do get hard. Um, you know, if, you, if you're if you really thinking about them too much, they, they you can make them hard for yourself. But then this is the hardest one of all. We need to rapidly kill two enemies shortly after using the glitch two times. It is so difficult, this, guys. It took me forever to try and work out how to work this one out and to try and get those two kills. In the end, I think I got both these um, two rapid kills in one game, but after about a week or so of trying, okay, they're so hard. Because basically you've got three and a half seconds, just under three and a half seconds to kill two enemies after using your glitch. So as you see, I would always recommend using Nuketown if you can get your Nuketown map, guys, and run into the enemy spawn. That's one double kill there under three and a half seconds. There are other ways of doing it as well. You can use your grenades or you can use your rocket launchers, but make sure that you do get those two kills within under, within under three and a half seconds. So let's say this is the hardest one that I did have so far with any kind of specialist character. Now there's another two there. So like I said, I was just lucky to get these two kills just with my gun Un in under that three and a half seconds but it is the hardest challenge of all guys so there you saw that was the profit opened up um, that cyberpunk body then if you want to open up the cyber cyberpunk helmet which is really really cool you need two rapid kills with the tempest three times now this isn't that hard guys it is quite easy um, and you can open up this wicked helmet but basically I'm going to show you now how you get those two rapid kills three times once you've got it activated again I would try and choose the position where you know the enemy you're going to be coming from. And again, Nuketown is so easy for this, guys. You'll not have a problem with it. You know they run down the sides there. Just blast away. And like I said, there's three kills there. I've got a triple kill. And it's that easy, guys. And even though you do get, like, the maybe three or four kills, it's just how rapid you get the first two kills that count. This is another one here as well. I'm going to go with the same position because from this position where I am, guys, if you use this yourself as well, you will find it that easy. But it is so easy from this position. And there are other others. Like I say, it's not just this point that I use. There are others. But this is just the ones that I opened up. The two rapid kill. Or three rapid kill, sorry. So you can see how easy that is, guys. And it is a devastating tool. That, I love that weapon. That electric arc bolt coming out there. And there's the two rapid kills. Three times unlock metal. So that's it, guys. Basically, there's the classified um, suit to go still. We're working away there, and we are getting ever closer to it. So I hope this video has helped you guys, and uh, good luck in trying to open up and unlock all the Prophet's clothes and suits. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this has helped. Peace out.